Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and welcome back to Eorzea again. Um, it is the second summer event of the year, uh, known as the Rising, um, and the Rising is is the anniversary of uh, what Final Fantasy XIV relaunched. So it's actually like a an in-game. Uh, in the lore of the game, it, it celebrates the, the fall of uh, Dalamud and the release of Bahamut that caused the calamity um, that basically destroyed the world of Final Fantasy XIV uh, 1.0 and launched 2.0. Um, this is one of my favorite events every year. It's usually one of the best, hands down. It's that they've been getting so, be so much better at a lot of these events. Um, I'm really excited to see what uh, this one's going to be like. Uh, there's a lot of people out here already. It literally just started like maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, they got all the cool decorations. There's a rising attendant here. Let's talk to him first. Seasonal event prizes. So there's a lot of people that are, a lot of 1.0 players that are really pissed off about these the rewards this year. Um, they're not very good. I mean, they're just earrings. They're not very good earrings to be, like the Manderville earrings are all right. Um, the White Ravens earrings back in 1.0, you could get these um, by doing a really hard fight against. Um, oh god, I forget what his name was. Neil Van Darnus, I think. Uh, he was up there with. Um, man, I'm forgetting everybody's name now. The guy that you fight at the end of 2.0, he's he's inside the the Ultima weapon or whatever. Um, He's basically on the same level of superiority as, as that guy was, as that guy is. Um, and then you can also, so those are the two main rewards. Uh, you have to, looks like you get rising tokens, so. Um, see how that goes. And then the rest is just fireworks. The rest is just fireworks. I don't have a minion to be out with me. Like, because I never bought the CDs and stuff that had, like, this really great minion. If I had that minion, I would totally have that Dalamud minion out right now. It's funny, because there's certain days that I miss. I miss looking up in the sky and seeing that just that horrendous red ball of death looming down on us. Like, because we saw it for so, so long. And it started out as just, like, this little tiny star. And then it grew massive. It grew, like, the size of the moon in the sky. And... I don't know, sometimes I miss it. I wish I would have gotten some, some actual footage of it back in the 1.0 days. I have tons of screenshots, but nothing else. Um, they have this stage back up, which is kind of cool. There's a bunch of people dancing on it from the same for company, it looks like. Um, I'm rambling a little bit here, not doing the event. So, let's go ahead and start this event. We're going to talk to Dural Thoral. Dural Thoral. There's a wandering minstrel in the background there, um, and then you have an orchestra roll and uh, a minion that you can get. Duralthoral is eyeing you eagerly. So, let's see what this this is about. There's usually lots of surprises. We're all expecting uh, there to be possibly a new expansion announced at the fan festival this year. Uh, so. We're gonna look for clues in this. I'm hoping that there's some clues. Um, I say, are you the fabled adventurer whose able assistance enabled us to encounter the the Lissom Lady Warrior Lightning? That you should present yourself at this precise pa pass could only be Nathal's blessing. I am, as you readily recall, Garotharal, renowned reporter of the Mithril Eye. And should you be willing to seek our services for what will surely be a splendid story? You are aware of the latest object uh, of many uh, Sultan and citizen adherent attention. Aye. It is the massive military maneuvers in, that the Immortal Flames will be conducting right here in our city, collectively called the Calamity Retold. That sounds cool. The maneuver's main motivation is an aggressive attack upon Eorzea in which the Empire engaged ere the Calamity came to pass. In putting pen to parchment, I desired to delve deeply into the details of those dreadful days. Yeah, I lived those dreadful days. I could tell you all about them. I was in Uldal when those fucking attacks happened. Uh, 
I ask you to accompany me as I go about interviewing involved individuals that I might promptly prod you for personal perspective. Suffice to say, you will be copiously compensated for your kind cooperation, so adventurer, will you aid me in my ambition? You have my thorough thanks. Without further ado, then pray come with me to the Hall of Flames. I have arranged an audience with one of our one of the Order's officers. Yeah, I love those days when Ulta was attacked. It was insane. Um, about a week or so before the servers went, the one point oh servers went down. Uh, they just basically just spawned tons of bosses inside inside Ulda. Um, and I have some videos of that. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out on the, on the channel. Let's talk to Dural Thrall again. This is the officer whom I have words. Okay. Yes, it looks like there's lots of words to be had. Uh, you are the one from the Mithril Eye. Correct, Commander. This reporter would relish your relenting the facts and features of the forthcoming military maneuvers. I would be glad to speak about the calamity retold. I must warn you, though, uh, that there are that there may not be as much to offer in the way of financial perspective, which I know your paper favors. Now then, let me begin with the, ob the objective. By holding the exercise in the city itself, we seek to cultivate awareness within our citizens and the ever-present Garlean threat. Many Uldans believe that they are safe within these walls. Nothing could be further from the truth. In the hours before the Calamity, the Imperial Army threatened us as close to Camp Horizon. A direct attack upon the city was very much in the realm of possibility. Thankfully, we were spared such a frightful fate, owing the fortitude of audacious adventurers. So, I guess lore-wise, lore-wise, those last days didn't count because shit hit the fan in the city. Like there were chimeras, Neil Van Darnesses, uh, plenty of Garland soldiers. Like it was insane. You know your history well, my friend. I. Full many adventurers lent their strength to our cause, to our cause, while the brass blades and the sultan sworn held fort in the city. Those intrepid souls sallied forth to head for the gar off the Garleans. By their valor, was an attack on Uldaf for. I missed that word. Uh, we of the Immortal Flames count adventurers among our solest allies. And we hope to continue our successful partnership in the city's defense. To that end, we have invited adventurers the realm over to participate in the exercises. I see, I see. My thanks for taking the time for this talk, Commander. Why is his shield floating on his back? So, having heard this assessment, what is yours as an active adventurer? Is this sul the Sultan that's safe with you and your plucky peers protecting it? Ulda is safe in our hands. Adventurers alone cannot protect Ulda. Pointly prudent adventurer advised against presuming that our... <laughs> Jesus, so many peas. <laughs> uh, preservation, preservation. Uh, potently prudent, the adventurer advises against presuming that our preservation is promised. If the Sultanate is to survive this savage strike, each and every one of our citizens must be inadvertent, invariably vigilant. Yes, something in that spirit shall serve. Next, we shall seek out one of our fearless fellows, an adventurer who fought in the fields at the flat of Cartano. He awaits our arrival at the Pugilist Guild. Uh, yeah, I was there for that too. Like, is nobody. What's that Moogle doing? Mm hmm. Seems I picked a good time to visit, Kubo. Moogle Adventurer? These exercises sound like fun. I do believe I'll take a peek and maybe even lend a hand, Kubo. Uh, yeah. I was. I was at the Battle of Cartano. The Roth Roll. What do you say? Here, the adventurer has agreed to indulge me with an interview. You're the reporter who wants. To... You're the reporter who. You're the reporter as wants to know about Garlean shenanigans leading up to the calamity. 
we're here to begin. Where to begin? Right, so soon after the Imperials began approaching near our cities, their commander took to visiting Arthurite camps, spreading propaganda and demanding our surrender. Might be as you heard about this. Uh, uh, the point, of course, was to incite panic, and it worked. The damn whole sons. Whole bunch of people around me started panicking, saying we should throw down our arms. But as many folk out there were panicked, about the same number got riled up good. Yours truly included. So I gathered my hot-blooded friends, and we went after those Imperials. Oh, we showed them exactly what we thought of surrender. And if Garleans ever try anything funny again, I'll round up my old crew and teach them a lesson all over again. And that's my tale. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. This is all the same. This is, this is like me. Excellent. More material. Um, ex bleh, too many voices. Excellent. More material of moment. A factual. Factual feature. Now then, our ex next destination is the Thurm Thaumaturgist Guild, where we will ask after the account of another who lived through the Calamity. Well, look, look, is that Shaft right there? Is that fucking Shaft? I got it again. Look at him. Look at him right there. He's like, <laughs> look at him. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, he's got a great glamour. Uh, there you are. The imminent interview with the, the tired-looking Thunder Mage there. I understand you wish to hear about an experience during the Calamity, just as well. Whether whether I will it or no, it all comes flooding back to me this time of year. While the invading Garleans pressed a real presence, poised a... Somebody's at my door. Why is somebody at my door? Uh, okay. While well, the invading Garleans poised a real and present threat, what I remember most vividly was the Red Moon Dalamud. Glowing its bloody hue, glowing even angrier, drawing ever closer. Then the Atherites turned a sticky, turned sticky color, and void scent manifested in droves. They entered our world, it is believed through the ethereal rifts caused by Dalamud's glowing proximity. Or growing proximity. Yeah, I remember that too. God, all the Atherites turned like this ugly orange. Ugh. I shall never forget the terror that washed over me when I first faced them. The mere sight of those twisted beams threatened to suck all of my strength away. And I might not be here now were it not for a band of adventurers who hurled themselves into the fray. On numerous occasions in various places, adventurers took it upon themselves to drive back the void scent. Their bravery and s selflessness are an example of us all, and I have nothing but gratitude and respect for them. Yeah, that's some legit stuff, bro. Alright, uh, that leaves us with the last meeting. Uh, the bloke of the brass blades. The person should be poised by the gate of Sultana. Now, uh, here he is. This is a sentry who spoke of the struggle. <clears throat> Just to get out of the way, I don't know. Just to get it out of the way, I don't know why you want my account. I didn't do anything noteworthy. Noteworthy. During the calamity. Doubt I've got anything to offer your article. But I agreed to talk, so I will. As you probably know, some of the brass blades... Some of us brass black Some of us brass blades fought at the Battle of Cartano as part of the Immortal Flames outfit. I was there, too. And the battlefield, well, it was all the seventh, it was the seventh hell on Hydaelyn. Death and destruction everywhere you looked. Folk were dropping like flies, Eorzeans and Garleans alike. Better soldiers, better men and women than me. But somehow I managed to survive. Later on I learned something. Apparently some adventurers went and intercepted an Imperial unit in Mordona. A unit that was coming to flank us at Cartano. Luck might have kept me alive, as long as it did. But if it weren't for those adventures, I reckon I would have been another corpse on the flats. I think those adventures, if only I knew who they were. Me, that was me. 
Uh, with that, our questioning comes to a close. Let us return to the Ruby Road Exchange. Uh, I was hoping they would. I haven't. I haven't found it yet. So I heard about the calamity from an assortment of angles, but all appear to agree. One aspect. Adventurers play a particularly prominent role. As an article, as an active adventurer, what is your view on your predecessor's participation? I'll say I'm proud of what they achieved. Uh, the adventurer articulated this his approval of those. Daring deeds in his eyes, I glanced a glimpse of conviction. The conviction to carry on as staywards of the Sultanate. I and then into that effect. With that, I am amply armed to pen a piece that will please the populace. Many thanks to you and your valuable input. Now then, if you can manage to meager a moment more, I request the pleasure of your presence at one last location. I've heard that the minstrel of obscure origin is out strumming songs about the calamity. I would hear him in hopes that the efforts that, that it affords my article and an additional angle. The man has supposedly set his stage at the end of the exchange. Should this interest you, feel free to follow me. What the? Well, oh, it's up here. Oh yeah, the one spot, the one place that. It always is. Yeah, during during the calamity, uh, hordes of Garlean soldiers attacked all the city states, Limsa Lamenza, Ulda, uh, and Gridania. Um, it was only in Gridania where it was only in Gridania where uh, shit actually hit the fan, and like monsters started spawning within the city walls. People could ride chocobos in the city. Like it was, it was madness. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> blah blah blah. Wandering minstrel. Uh, well met, my friends. How may this humble minstrel serve you? Like, the wandering minstrel is like the only one that that I think knows who you are. Uh, an article from Mithril Eye, you say. Full honor that you should seek uh, me out. Uh, your presence is comfortable now, listening to my song. The tale of the nameless heroes who rose to defend the city as the red moon fell. Oh, so shit's gonna happen. Shit's happening. This is basically what it was like. Why is there no soldiers in those magitechs? <laughs> What's he doing? It's fine as gold magitech. Yoshida! Yoshida, what are you doing here? Greetings, Warrior of Light. You need to be alarmed. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by an enemy of a weary mind? Perhaps or perhaps not. Delighted I am to see you again, my friend. Truly, I am blessed to have had the pleasure of your acquaintance for so long. Looking back on these days and months, that fairy blown by, five years have already passed since Ayorzi arose anew from the ashes. A 
In those five years, I had the honor to know many warriors of light like yourself. Typical warriors all, each with countless tales to tell. Tales of meeting and parting and joys of sorrow. And joys and sorrow. I often find myself wondering, what do you and yours think of the realm? Since you first set foot upon it, it has become a place that you might call home to which you ever look forward to re returning. No, know that not gives me and mine greater pride than being able to build this world and this pride we owe wholly to you who choose to abide here. Abide, abide, abide. A long journey lies ahead of us and nothing would please us more than to continue it with you. Whether the road, whether the road may lead None can say for certain, but such is an allure of adventure, is it not? For that, we wish to give you our heartfelt thanks. Yeah, it's like the magic check armor's bell. Whoosh. Basically, to like the character, the character is like almost like meeting God, basically, since Yoshida like has created this world. And his team, of course. And now the time has come for the vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from the waking dream. Will it be watching over you and your deeds? Guide the realm onto the ha peace and happiness. Warrior of Light. Till next we meet. What a weird... Uh, a strange song performance by the Pentalude. Pantalude? Pet Man, I have such trouble with some of the older English words. Plan plentitude of passion. Thank you most thank, thank you, my most magnificent minstrel. By your vivid verse, the story's success is solely indeed something. An adventure here uh, took part in different directions with the uh, field work finally finished. I shall settle in a seat and pen to parchment. It was a joy to have you join me on the jaunt. You have another moment, my friend. For you, I have another song. A song for which follows the calamity. That which has yet to come. O hero of rebirth traversing, soar you to the azure skies. Upon your breast a crimson crest, shine light down from on high. O hero of rebirth transcending, weave you the azure lie. By your deeds doth crimson bleed, and darkness quench the fire. The world, though the world was reborn, rising from the ashes of its destruction, it can never return to how it once was. And so we must walk ever forward, keeping our gaze upon the future and seeking a new horizons. Once a year, let us allow ourselves to halt our steps. Let us look back upon the past and remember those we have lost. For it is their memory that gives us strength to carry on. It's a little bit of a new display. They have that ring around it before in the last last couple years, so that's kind of cool. Complete. Seems a little bit complete. Uh, I think there's more to it because I don't know how where those tokens come from. Give me five. Uh, so we got that wind up orchestral roll. Um, where's the orchestral roll? Revolution, revelations, revolution. Uh, and then the wind ups, Serena. Uh, hungry for divine guidance. Also, Buzz. 
Let's see what she looks like real quick. There she is. She's cool. Does she do anything? No, she bows. Very neat. Very neat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split the rising event into two different videos because the, uh, the instanced event took just way too long uh, to add into one whole video. Uh, so I'm going to split them up. Um, for this video, let me know what you guys thought of the, the main quest. It was kind of cool, a little reminiscing. Um, there were some clues there about what the Wandering Minstrel said when his song... Um, I was, I would, at the at the end of it, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, oh man, is this all it is? I thought we were going to get something cool. And then you do get to do that, that really cool event, which is by far my favorite part of the event. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the main quest. And then be sure to check out the next video that should be getting posted about the same time as this one does um, for, this, for the second half of it. Um, there was a lot of nostalgia for me, like I mentioned several times, but... Um, it was, a, it was a cool event overall. The rewards were all right. Very easy quest. Just talked to a few NPCs. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Logical high five.